Good afternoon. My name is Clayton Dukes with Logzilla Corporation. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install Logzilla. In case you haven't already done it, you'll need to install Docker version 1806 or newer. Don't worry, it's just as easy as Logzilla to install and I'll show you how in a moment. Next, I'll walk you through the Logzilla installation. Let's have a quick review of how Logzilla's event management works. Logzilla utilizes the OODA loop, which is observe, orient, decide, and act, to take in massive amounts of data in real time, index and deduplicate that data, and then enrich it from external sources of information, such as a CMDB or inventory system, to make intelligent, informed decisions on the next action to take such as repairing outages, mitigating security incidents, or compliance management. The desired outcome is to be able to pair multiple streams of information down to human consumable, actionable data. As mentioned, I'll cover installing Docker, followed by installing Logzilla. So let's get started. Installing Docker is similar to the Logzilla install and is done using a simple command as seen here. After Docker is installed, run the Logzilla installer command. You can find this command on our website at logzilla.net slash download. Now let's give it a try, shall we? As you can see here, I'm pasting the command that we just saw. This installer will take generally around 30 seconds depending on your bandwidth. Once the install is complete you'll be presented with a URL uh, which is of course just the IP of your local system and the information needed to log in. By default that information is username admin password admin. Pretty simple, right? Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you get an idea of how easy it is to get started with Logzilla. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds to install. You can get started for free at logzilla.net slash download.